Starting with Tony Drago at the World Seniors, the room burst into laughter when he tried to casually lean back in his chair, only to slip and tumble off. Performance from Igor Figueredo. Oh! Well, just I think Tony was leaning back too much on his chair and he went over. He's okay. He's okay. He just went. He's putting his cue down. And he went. Oh, dear me. Moving on, David Gilbert provided another memorable moment during a tense match. Upon realizing his fly was open, he swiftly zipped up and quipped, There's not much to see anyway, lightening the mood and making the audience chuckle with his quick wit. I hate these type of frames, absolutely horrible when the balls go up towards the bulk area, there's not a great deal you can do. There ain't much to see anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Aside from Dave Gilbert there, I won't tell you what he said, but you can make your own stories up. Then, at the UK Snooker Championship in 2021, Mark Williams added his own twist to the tournament. In the middle of his match against Anthony Hamilton, he was caught taking a brief nap. Ends at 71, but a good response from Mark Williams, and he restores a two-frame lead. He now needs four frames to two. The laughter continued when Kurt Mafflin couldn't hide his frustration at the Snooker World Championship after missing out on a 147 break. In a moment of raw emotion, he gave the white ball the middle finger, a bold gesture that was as humorous as it was shocking. Where's the cue ball going to finish up? Oh, oh that's so, so unlucky. unlucky. 105. So unlucky. Next, Anthony McGill decided to literally elevate his game. For a particularly tough shot, he climbed onto the snooker table and tried to play an illegal shot. If I were Anthony, I'd just check to see if it weren't, weren't touching. <laughs> yes, you have to keep uh, a foot on the floor at all times. Can't do that. In a match against Ronnie O'Sullivan, Ding Jun Hu fluked a shot, which led to both players bursting into laughter. Go down the history is the greatest 147 of them all. What a tough shot. Sean Murphy, not to be outdone, brought some magic to his game against Mark Selby. After failing to scatter the reds with his cue, he resorted to comically waving his hands over them, as if casting a spell. Oh, he's unlucky. Open says me. Well, you might fight. During a duel between Mark Allen and Sean Murphy, the referee accidentally dropped the yellow ball. Murphy sees the moment with exaggerated, comedic gestures, turning a simple mishap into a theatrical performance that amused the crowd. Oh, hang on. Steady, Rob. Steady. Quick, quick. You got it. <laughs> At the World Snooker Championship final, Mark Williams casually turned to a member of the audience to ask for some candies during a break in play, showing his knack for keeping things light even during the most critical matches.
not missing a beat, Lee Walker introduced some playful strategy in his game against Mark Selby by attempting to block a pocket with his cue ball. 63. <laughs> well, that was topping. Mark Allen brought unintentional humor when he lost his balance and scattered the Reds across the table. Mark Allen 12. You don't see it very often, but you know, he had to get the rest out of the way so quickly there. The banter reached its peak during the 2023 World Snooker Championship, where Mark Allen and Mark Selby engaged in a friendly exchange. So boring. <laughs> <laughs> Always missed it. Mark Allen for. <laughs> Put it back. <laughs> oh, that's nice to see. Mark Williams, known for his cheeky antics, repotted a yellow ball after the referee forgot to replace it, showcasing his playful side. Isn't that nice to see as well? Oh, what a gentleman. Nice yanks. Now this is going to be funny, Mark's going to go around and get the yellow out himself and put it back on the table because the referee... <laughs> now that is brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Never ever seen that before. Is that what not a fun shot? Sean Murphy didn't just play snooker at the 2018 World Championship. He performed a comedy routine with his face alone. Look in the world and I'm going to make you win unless you're very good at what you do. And these boys are very good. Pumping some faces is sure. No need to tell you he doesn't like <laughs> like what it's uh... even the prankster Mark Williams turned a routine play into a spectacle. After potting a red, he cheekily lifted the cue ball off the table, committing a blatant foul. Get on the table for the black, but still a tie the frame. Thought he lost momentum there, Five. really. Foul. I can see it. <laughs> yeah. He took two out. I can see it. He can see it in the frame. The referee said foul. I know the more important thing is uh, Mark Williams has gone in front again now. It's seven frames to six. Couldn't let me know. Another one from Mark Williams, during his 2021 championship match against Selby, decided to use his rest in a way no one expected. He went on and potted all the colours with it. performance this in this final frame of the afternoon session for Mark Williams. You'll need at least a 5-3 victory in the second session. Imperative for Williams tomorrow. Well, go on then, Mark. Let's see you play this with the best one. <laughs> <laughs> Typical Mark Williams. Look at this. He likes to do things his own way. <laughs> Well, that off a terrific session. Ronnie O'Sullivan, in a quarterfinal showdown against Mark Williams, added his own twist to the tension by blaming an untimely fart on the referee. His theatrical attempt to fan away the smell with his cue broke the tension and had everyone in stitches. I won't fall. It's been windy in London though today, but we didn't think quite in this way. A pigeon somehow found its way into the arena during a match between Selby and Bingato. 
choosing the perfect moment to swoop over the table. Well, I don't believe we've got a pigeon in the crystal. <laughs> what do you do here? Oh, please. <laughs> Have you ever seen anything like this? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> to the dressing room. <laughs> Graham Dot, after successfully potting a black ball, energetically gestured toward the cue ball, urging it to roll further back and break up a cluster of reds. When the ball disappointingly halted just short, Dot's animated and hopeful gestures morphed into a theatrical display of dismay. Here it comes. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was brilliant. <laughs> so hard to get in, and he went boom, as if he was going to smash them all over the place. That is so funny. That is funny. <laughs> Wrapping up our list, Mark Williams humorously fiddled with cue extenders at the Riga Masters 2017 cycling through them in a seemingly endless quest for the perfect shot. Watch the green. I need the long stuff. I think he needs the long rest as well. Very difficult to play with the rest when one's longer than the other. Another extension. Quite going to work, I don't think that. No, the mini butt is too thin to go on that extension. The referee kind of suggested putting an extension on the extension. Here we go. Well, if there's any more put on, they'll be playing this from the car park. <laughs> and still, he's got that little rest out. Now this doesn't look, this doesn't look right at all. You could just get the extension rest out and make things a lot easier. <laughs> you need an engineering degree to play this shot. Could always get the half butt. Well, I don't understand this playing with that small rest. Yeah, now get everything out of the way. And that's the wrap for this video. I hope you enjoyed the video. For more snooker content, click on the screen right now.